Hello and welcome to Token Studio Onboarding. Today I want to guide you through the first steps of getting into your running project. First, we're going to start up with the sign up. You should have received an email with the link. Uh, if not, the link is app.tokens.studio. We're going to sign up with our email, username and password. Username is what's going to be visualized internally in the platform. After pressing register, you will receive a confirmation email. In that confirmation email, you have a link. If that link doesn't work, please copy the text underneath the, the button um, and paste it into your browser, which should bring you to your waitlist. On the waitlist, we are greeted with the redemption code field. To access Studio, you need an uh, access code. Only the first person to sign up for the organization needs that. The rest can be invited into an organization just via the invite in the studio. After redeeming my code, I'm now greeted with the create organization. You can be part of multiple organizations inside studio. So if you're in an agency, you can have your customers' organizations. If you're just an organization yourself, you can just create yourself. So we're going to create our HEMA organization. <clears throat> And in each organization, you can have multiple projects. So you could have your web design system, your native design system. In the future, we're working on a dependency system. But let's create our first design system. We're working on a small company, right? So let's create our system. You could choose from some templates. These are just basic templates for Tailwind, Radix, Chakra, and OpenColor. <clears throat> we're going to start fresh because we want to import our project. After creating your first project, you're greeted with the dashboard. On the dashboard, you will find the top information, which actually asks you to upload your tokens. We have some more information here of like some YouTube videos, reading the docs, talk to us in Slack. If you need any support, please reach out to us in Slack. And down here, you have all the connections we offer and your API key. We'll get to that later. So uploading your tokens is quite easy. Um, the best way to do that is actually take a zip file and upload that with all your JSONs in the right format. Currently, we support the DTG spec, the same that we are using inside the plugin. So if your tokens work with the plugin, you can just import it. If you're using variables, there will be a separate video for that. So let's just upload our tokens. I'm just gonna pull in my tokens here from SendGarden, which is an export from our plugin, which then uploads all our sets. You can see that everything was successful in the uploading and that my full project structure is now here inside Studio. I'm now on the tokens page. There is also a theme configuration where I can see that my color modes also successfully uploaded. And now I could create my um, configurations and the rest of the project. To get you synced with your plugin, kind of, you need to get your API key. So let's create a new API key. The API key will be our Figma key. Please copy that key. Then go to your Figma plugin. You can create a new empty file and then add a new sync provider. We're going to add a new sync provider, which is our token studio sync provider. Yes, we already got access. The name for that is studio uh, sen. My access token goes here. It now loads the organization that I'm part of. I'm he part of HEMA and of the design system. And I'm going to save that. Take a second and load the tokens. So if I switch back to my tokens view, I can now see that all my tokens are here and all my sets. So let me just enable the light set and everything is working as I wanted. In addition to our current plugin, there is also a new plugin that we launched, which is for variable consumption only, which is the companion. The companion app can be, a plugin can be launched and also needs an API key for this. You are able to select your company and your system and this fetches all the tokens and then I can now create my local variables from that companion plugin. I hope that got you started with the studio platform. Feel free to reach out if you have any more questions and let us know what you think. There will be more videos for the future segments of the platform. Mm -hmm.